Yo, the Titanic is setting sail. Dude. Okay, what are we going to do? This whole thing, that water is coming in. Oh, gosh, it's going down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jake, 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 what is coming in? You think these reports are good? $100 on steel. $100 on wood. I'm Baron Bond Boat Builder, and if I know something about boats, I know how to build them. We can't build a boat with this. You think I'm gonna make my expenses? I'm hoping to make millions off of this. This is my legacy. I'm hoping to make the big cheese, the big money. I want a house on the hill. Not with this. We can't do it with this. But Baron, we have to build a boat with safety standards. The hell with the safety standards. We'll build it on a cardboard for all I care. God damn it, we're gonna make the biggest cardboard sip the world's ever seen. I don't care if it's not safe, we'll spin it as a luxury boat. Ben, there's people's lives at risk. You know what else are at risk? Money. Lots of money. And Baron's brand new house. I don't care, we're building out a cardboard. The cardboard Titanic. Now would you look at this? Right here. Now this, this is innovation. Looks like they're saying they have created the world's biggest floating ship. It's made completely out of cardboard. It's being deemed the world's largest ship to ever sail by master boat builder Baron Ben Bondsworth. That sounds remarkable. And look at this, look at this. They're already selling tickets for it. The Bon Varen Corporation would like to invite all citizens to pre-purchase their tickets to get on the ride. It's a pre-order. We've been looking for a vacation for quite some time. I think this, this might be it. I mean, the world's largest ship made out of cardboard. I think you're right. We should go on this journey. This, this is the future. Right here. Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team Epiphany. I got Logan here and today we are doing another awesome box fort build and we are gonna be building the world's biggest floating box fort. The world's grandest floating box fort. In fact, it's the box fort Titanic. You guys have asked for it. You guys have been wanting it. We're gonna be using our initial floating box fort design but doubling it. We're gonna be making this thing absolutely massive and setting sail on the great ocean. We've got two of these floor. oh whoa. We've got two of these which we're gonna attach together and a whole lot of cardboard. This is gonna be awesome, guys. Nothing's gonna go wrong on the floating box for Titanic, right? Like, that's... The, the, well, yeah. Baron built it himself. Right, ba Baron built it himself and Titanic and something going wrong, I've never heard of that before. So it looks like we're gonna be okay today. So like I said, we're gonna be using two of these rafts. We used one in our previous floating box for build, but we're stepping it up today. Here we go. Oh. We have the base all set up. This is gonna be the box for Titanic. It is already massive. We're gonna tape these two things together, get all of our boxes on here. We also have some cool stuff to use, but we gotta start building this thing and get it in the water ASAP. All right guys, so the roof has come on the front. We're gonna have the roof back here, which is gonna be where we have all the control panels. In this case, it's the Titanic, so it's gonna be a steering wheel. And then we're gonna have all the walls coming back here. But guys, we were thinking, this is such an insane build using two of these floaties together. What if we did this again? What if we replicated this and turned it into a livable space? Like maybe a two-story floating box fort mansion. If you guys want us to build a two-story floating box fort mansion, then smack that like button down below. If we get 100,000 likes on this video, we'll come back and we'll use these two floaties to make the world's biggest floating box fort mansion. Yo, that's a door, man. Logan knows how to make doors, guys. He's the door master. Let's put a hashtag door master down below if you think that's a good door. Check this out we have the first pillar on there it's looking awesome the roof is fully done now we have to put three more pillars on the back of it and of course we have our entrance here now because it's a titanic we can't actually use regular lighting we got to use candles up in this thing and we got to get ready because we're about to set sail guys oh and i can't forget we brought ourselves some life jackets because you know safety's first i don't think anything could go bad on the titanic but just in case it does we got life jackets here the box for titanic is ready check that out we got the three smokes stacks we've got the massive floaty at the back here we got the door we can enter in get in here i think all this left to do now guys pick it up and launch it in the water i gotta put on my bathing suit jake all right let's go put this thing in the water such a big beast we didn't really think of that when we built it over here but i mean we couldn't build in the water so i guess we're gonna set up the camera and try our best to get this thing and launch it in the water start the motors on the box for Titanic and then she'll officially be ready for the ocean. Yo, the Titanic is setting sail. Dude. Yo, the Titanic is set sail. Oh my god, the wind's taking her. Oh my god. Bro, the wind's taking her. Uh-oh. Whoa, where's she going? Oh, uh-oh. Logan, we have a fire. We have a fire on the Titanic. 
Oh no, what do we do? Water! Water! Alright, it's good. Okay, she's okay. She's calming down. All right, so one of the pillars unfortunately caught on fire, but luckily for us, the box fort only needs two motors to run. Definitely, if you guys have smoke grenades, do not try this at home. One of the motors actually caught on fire. It's okay, we put it out. You know, we, we used our Titanic safety features, aka a hose, and we put it out. She's still seaworthy, so we're gonna get in her now and start enjoying the Titanic. All right, guys, it's time to get inside the box fort Titanic. All right. We're inside. Yo, we are officially inside the box for Titanic. Check out how much space there is in here, guys. There's like enough space for three rooms in here. This is crazy. All right, so we got our life jackets here. We're gonna need to put these on the wall up the front here in case we need to evacuate the box fort. And we have the front there. It looks like it's a little dry over here, so I'm gonna travel towards the front. Check out how much room we have. Logan, you getting in? Dude, oh. there is so much room in here, man. Oh we could have God. like three bedrooms in here, bro. This is insane. All right, Logan is now officially in the box fort Titanic, and I'm chilling over here. Dude, I have my own little quarters over here. It's the captain's quarters over here, bro. I don't know why we didn't cut windows beforehand. It would have made a lot of sense. All right, there we go, guys. We've got our first Titanic window. Oh, no, there, there we go. Awesome. Nice. That is sick. And again, guys, don't do a fire in a box fort. We're just doing this because we're keeping up with the times. There's a box fort candle. Although we don't really need it, man. It's no, pretty bright with the, here. With window, the window. Yeah, good. I think we're good. With the window, it's good. So technically, if we were doing a 24-hour challenge, if you guys want that, we would be doing this, but we don't need it. So I'm gonna put out the candle, maybe make another hole, and enjoy this awesome Titanic adventure. This box fort is so comfortable. Oh, the wind's picking up a little wind's bit here, picking boys. Up. Wind is definitely picking up. We've made another porthole so we can see outside onto the water. And this boat is moving around. I'm gonna chill on my side, dude. There's so much room, it doesn't even matter where we chill. You could literally throw a party in here. You could have one of those awesome Titanic dances in here. Because it's the Titanic, because it's like the 1800s, there's not much else to do other than to eat, read a book, and we'll swim. So we're gonna swim. So we're gonna go out the back and go for a nice little refreshing swim. Logan? Yeah. The steering wheel came off. We can't control her anymore. Brace! Oh. Everyone okay? I think we hit the ice cube. I think we're back in the air. Do you hear that? Oh, is that the air? That's the air. Jake, get the light vest on. Get the light vest on. Oh, Jake, it's really sinking. Get your light vest on. Get on my no, side, dude. It's starting to collapse. Oh god, oh god, it's starting to fall in, bro. You gotta get on my side. I'm gonna check over here. Damage control. How is it? Oh no, Jake, it's really bad. How bad is it, bro? Uh, we have water coming in. Oh, Jake, we have water coming in the ship. What are we gonna do, Logan? This whole thing, that water's coming in. Oh god, she's going down. Water's, oh no, Jake. Jake, water's coming in. Hold on, I think we're okay for now. Is there any way we can keep this thing up? I'm sinking! I'm sinking! This isn't good. Keep your floating on! We're gonna have to take them out! Oh man, I'm on it! Oh god, she's stepping! Oh god! Jake, I'm fully in the water! Logan! Logan, get off the side! Get off the side! How do we get out of here? What do we do now? Logan? Oh no. Oh no, we lost Logan. Oh no, we lost Logan. We still got a little bit of flotation on here. The roof's still holding up, but it's not much. There's no way we're getting out of this door. As you guys can see, the window that we just cut that was on this side is literally up there. And the porthole on this side is completely down. Uh, let's see if we can get out the back door. Uh, come on. Uh, this might be our only way out. Oh, there's a piece of sunken cardboard here. We gotta find a way out of here before she goes down. All right guys, so currently the Titanic has been sinking. I have yet to find a way out. My hope is that when it sinks far enough, I can get out that porthole, but I don't know. I don't know where Logan went. He had to get went to try and find a way out the bottom hole. Logan! I tried to find a way out back, I couldn't. Nothing out there? I just have to rip through the ship. All right, I can get the through hole? the hole, yeah. yeah? All right, yeah. you go first, dude. Yeah. You go first, get out. I can make it out the window. <laughs> 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 Ah, oh, this rock can't hold both of us, buddy. We weigh too much. I gotta save myself for the viewers. Oh, you, you float. Oh, you got a life vest. Right, we brought life vests because safety first. This is the carnage from the sinking box for Titanic. 
She was the biggest box fort to ever set sail. And this is all that's left of our beautiful creation. So that pretty much wraps up our box for Titanic. It was really fun. And guys, like we said, if you want us to make this bigger and you guys want us to do maybe a 24 hour challenge on the water, then smack that like button. Let's get 100,000 likes on this video and we'll do another awesome box for floating on the water video. But this time to Papa Jake from Tio Biffany. I'll see you guys next time for another awesome video. Get down.